Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, it's, um, I'm going to try and be more consistent, but in today's video, we've got an unboxing, and it is the Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars series. Now, <clears throat> uh, I know it's been a while since I've had a, owned a Hot Toys figure, and it will, I'm obviously going to end up getting more, but yeah, I'm actually, I've opened this uh, up before, I opened this up yesterday, sorry, and um, had a little bit of fun with it, and this is the going to be the review. So, looking at the box here, we have obviously the figure front and centre, got Star Wars down here, um, as you can see here we've got the figure again, and we've got TM SO19 Anakin Skywalker 1 6th scale collectible figure. Um, you can kind of see that in this image and in that image right there, they're wearing different armor pieces, and I'll talk to you about that in uh, later on in the video. Uh, so on the side, you've got another image of the figure, and if we go over to about here, it's just um, it just says Anakin Skywalker, and it's, it's basically the same thing that it says right. There. At the front here but yeah i can't really show you because there's something right up here um this is i've got very limited space to work with when it comes to showing you the box so we're gonna unbox the figure now and i'm going to show you the accessories it comes with okay so before we get to the accessories let's just have a look at the uh cover or the um image right here so this is the um a professional uh, photographer take uh, took this image, and it's a very very beautiful um, cover work artwork for this figure. Okay, so um, here are the accessories. I've bunched them all together since I can't put them spread out like down here since the tripod won't allow me. But I will just start off with a few things. I'll start off with the grenades. So. Um, so there is this grenade and there is a flat grenade, but mine version of Anakin didn't come with a flat grenade. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys as well. So uh, he'll come with this grenade and a oh, flat grenade where this part will not be here. It will just be this top part and then this little part there. Uh, here we have um, his cape, which would attach to his armor piece, which is there and then the one that comes with his uh, comes on with the figure. So he's got a cape here, which I don't think we ever saw in the Clone Wars show, to my knowledge, or to my memory at least, I don't think we ever did. We um, come with a uh, two extra wrist pegs just in case we break any. These two small pieces here, um, they attach to the lightsaber which you can attach to the belt. Now, I wouldn't recommend you, you, you uh, putting these in and then, mod and then taking it out over and over and over again. So I recommend if you're gonna put the belt on the figure, then do that and then don't futter it, don't keep on removing it. So that's what I would recommend. Also, if you've got a figure like if you're not really if you're new to Star Wars collecting or Star Wars Hot Toys collecting, then make sure you read the instructions and um Yeah, especially when it comes to these things, make sure you read the instructions. Um let's pop that over there. For the lightsaber effects, we have this blue transparent um, swing piece. You see it's uh, darker there and it's lighter up here. He swings his blade to destroy some droids or to attack some Ventress or Tuku. So that will just plug into the lightsaber hilt. Um, right here we have the blade and see if it focuses. So we've got the blade. The blades from the previous Anakins are a bit darker. This one's quite light, which um, it would be nice to make to see if to see the darker blue come back. But yeah, that just plugs into the lightsaber hilt, which the lightsaber hilt is right here, which you can see is incredibly detailed. It's really really nice. Got the gold. Got the nicely textured uh, grip at the bottom here. Got the texturing, oh, got the texturing across there, which is really, that was my dog in the background if you could hear. Got the red button there. 
uh, button there for the, and yeah so all you got to do is just pop this part into the blade into the hilt sorry and then you have the full then you've got the full lightsaber blade okay um moving on got this lightsaber um arm piece now i would recommend not using these from um what i've seen uh it's just a lot of fatting to get the um to get these pieces in which are the batteries it's a lot of fatting to get them in and then to turn it on which will only last a few, only last like a few minutes and you can only really do this you can't go up and down so yeah i'd recommend just not really using it um <clears throat> We have some uh, hands, we've got a left and right gripping hand, I'll just show you the right one, it's nicely, the glove is nicely detailed as you can see here, very very nicely detailed, and then this other uh, right hand we have him using, um, we've got him in this which is a more of a pointing hand for like clones to go in certain directions. I guess and I guess and then this is more of a like relaxed ish hand or using the force type of hand. Let's try and get it to focus. There you go. It's more of a force using hand. Or you could use that hand to um hold this, which is a hollow transmission device and it can you can use that to plug in uh, a Soka a Sokatano, a Master Yoda, and a Obi Wan Kenobi. As you can see right there, which these um hologram as uh, holograms are very very nicely detailed, nicely textured as well. So that's all all very nice. Um, now this piece is the Clone Wars armor piece. Uh, from obviously the Clone Wars show, and you've got the smaller pad, smaller shoulder pads here. These shoulder pads, shoulder pads are quite a bit smaller, like the TV show. Um, this uh, uh, Republic symbol is sculpted onto it. It's not imprinted into the armor; it's sculpted on. And then this armor piece does not have uh, one which. That would go there and then this piece would go here and then this doesn't articulate so it's just one fixed piece now for the base it's nothing too special it's just a um a ship floor pretty much and then you've got the uh you've got the metal well, you've got the metal uh display right there which is star wars and it can skywalker and then if you wanted to know this does go up and down Right, with all of the accessories out of the way, I know that was quite long, let's get straight to the figure. Okay, so this is Jedi General Anakin Skywalker, as we can see in this 1-6 scale form. It's a very, very nicely detailed figure, and as you can see, these these armour pieces are different. Um, these armour pieces can articulate, and they just look overall different with different weathering patterns, and these shoulder pieces go up instead of the Clone Wars version going down. This is because it is um, basically done after the uh, Battlefront 2 style. So you can see, if we get up close right here, you can see the um, weathering is a bit different. These parts here can articulate, allowing for more movement. The shoulder pads are a bit bigger, and um, this Republic emblem is, uh, is in the um is molded into the shoulder pad right here now if we have a look um at the head sculpt right well, let me try and move it up a little bit if we have a look at the head sculpt right here you can see that it's very very nicely detailed it's pretty much the head sculpt from the uh first Anakin figure that we got um, you can see the scarring there is really nice and detailed the only main di the only main difference from this face to the normal Anakin is the hair or head I should 
the difference from this head to the other Amazon Skywalker sculpts are the hair pieces. This one's a lot shorter than the uh, Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker. Whether that be the light or dark side. But yeah, overall the sculpt is incredibly nice. Really, really good. Really, really nicely detailed. Um, got a little bit of scar in there. And yeah, the it's very, very nicely detailed as you can see. He's got a bit of a um, bit of brow tensing, so you make him look down. Looks a bit menacing. Now the the overall costume is incredibly nicely detailed. We've got the arm piece, which is kind of like a purplish brown, and then you've got uh, his metal arm right here. And by the way, this gauntlet is basically the same for every Anakin, so you'll probably have to try and super glue it down, or just super glue this and this part together, and then it'll just stay like that. Um, there's wires in this part of the robe, in this and this part of the robe, and then also at the back, also I believe at the, it's not, there's no wires at the back here, but there's wires that goes up on these two sides, which allow for um, some pretty cool things to potentially happen in whether it be photo sh whether it be shoots with a figure or just how you display it here we've got his uh, belt it's made of a pleather material i believe and got his food canisters there you've got his let's move that his arm out of the way you've got pouches there you have the belt here it's just attached by velcro at the back and then another pouch right there and then this is where you store his lightsaber hilt. On this arm, it's pretty much, yeah, the fabric's the same color. This glove, though, was different. This part is the same material, same as that, though. So, yeah, that's the same as that. And then this part is different. Moving on, you've got the um, part over here, which is the same color, I believe, is that. Yes, it is the same color. And then, try not to hit your head on the top. You got this part, and then these boots are not split, not a split cut boot design, unfortunately, like we're seeing with newer figures. But hopefully, the uh, Artisan Anakin that's coming out sometime next year will have that design. So that's that. That's the figure. Um, we'll go into the range of articul. We're going to the articulation now. So. We go side profile, his head can go back a very certain amount um, because of his hair piece. He can go forward quite a bit far and then his head can tilt, if we hold that down, his head can tilt side to side. His arm can go out all the way and that especially helps with uh, this. Um, his arm can go up forward, it can, it can go up forward, uh, just a bit tricky. And then same with all the way back, and then got butterfly joint in there. Double elbow going all the way up, and then up and down on the wrist joint. His uh, crunch is like that, not too far forward. Crunch at uh, arc back is not too far back either. His articulation in the legs goes about that far, which is really, really good. And it goes about that far back, which is to be expected. He has double jointed uh, knee, which goes almost all the way back. And he's got some ankle. He has a little bit of ankle movement, but you can't get much out of it because of the boot design. For those of you that are wondering, this is Anakin with his Clone Wars look on. Um, his Clone Wars uh, shoulder pads and arm piece here. If you're wondering, the the um, articulation is still the same. You can't really go back that much. Um, can't really go forward too much. Can't really go forward that much on this arm. I don't think. Not really. But I think he could. He can go a bit further on the other armor. So yeah, for those of you, that's what he looks like. Okay, these are three poses that you can do with the figure. Um, so during these three poses, I will also do the outro. So thank you guys for what. So just for this one, um, you've got him holding him holding his hologram with Obi Wan Kenobi, his lightsaber on his belt, and his uh, cape on with his 
uh, home was a look. Thank you all, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, it's been great unboxing this figure. Hit the like button um, if you did enjoy the video and consider subscribing, please. The second pose is just a basic stomach, the basic um, museum pose with Anakin with his lightsaber right out and just arms down, just looking straight forward. And then this last pose is a little bit more of a dynamic pose. As you can see, he's got just arm up by 90 degrees, same with the arm just up further, his head further down, and then the distribution lights up the blade. Now, I'll just go over once again. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications if you don't want to miss another video or another unboxing. And I'll see you in, hopefully, tomorrow's video. Peace.